Hey, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. Today I'm going to give you some scales to play in first, second and third position. This is something I've had loads of requests for, so I hope you find it useful. Now, if you'd like a free summary of this lesson with all of the scales included, I'll put a link in the description. And there's also going to be a link to my premium positions course if you want to delve deeper into these topics. So let's start with first position. This is the home key of the harmonica. So on a C diatonic harmonica, we'll be playing in the key of C. And this position works nicely for major scales and melodies built out of the major scale. So I'm going to give you that major scale first. So it starts on the four blow, that's our kind of home note for this key, and it sounds like this. So our notes are four blow, four draw, five blow, five draw, six blow, six draw, seven draw, and seven blow. So that's the major scale in the middle of the harmonica, and you can build lots of melodies out of that. And one way to start building melodies is to use the major pentatonic scale. So this is the five key notes, if you like, from the major scale. So it's a not as quite as many notes, but it's a good way of building melodies and nice sounding uh, phrases. And it sounds like this. Now you might recognize that as the opening line, the kind of bass line from the song My Girl. I played it uh, rhythmically in that way. If I just play it sort of evenly, You can hear each note as we go. So it's like the major scale with the five draw and the seven draw taken out. So we've got four blow, four draw, five blow, six blow, six draw, seven blow. So that's a couple of scales in first position. Remember that positions are all about the relationship between the key of harmonica you're on and the key you're playing in. And that's kind of a one-to-one -one relationship with first position. Doesn't require any uh, thinking other than what key is the harmonica in? Okay, I'm playing in that key. And that works really well for major scales. But what if you wanted to play more bluesy stuff? Well, that's where second position comes in because second position works really nicely for the tension between major and minor. So what you get is that the major scales are kind of still quite easy to play, or not completely easy compared with first position, and then the minor ones aren't as easy as third position, but you've kind of got this in the middle bit and blues really sits nicely in there. So let's look at some scales in second position. So these scales are going to start on our two draw. That's our kind of home bass, the G note on a C harmonica for second position. We're going to start with the major pentatonic. Remember that uh, My Girl bass line. So we've got two draw, three draw full step bend, three draw natural, four draw, five blow, six blow. So we can use those notes, we can build major sounding melodies. And they sound really nice and sweet. We have got that bend in there to consider as well. So if we expand this into the full major scale, the reason I did this second is because there's a difficult note in this. There's actually an overblow. And I haven't set this up and I don't use overblows very much, so I don't even know if it's going to work. I might look like an idiot here, but it should sound something, fingers crossed, like this. Not very in tune, but I did just about get that overblow. So we've added a couple of notes. So we've got the two draw, 
three draw full step bend, three draw, four blow, so that's a new note, four draw, five blow, five over blow, and six blow. So it's possible to play that major scale. It's a bit more difficult than in first position because we've got a bend and then an overblow. It is nice and expressive though, so if you're able to get it, it can be really useful. And the bends can be a blessing rather than a curse because they are quite expressive. But where second position comes into its own is when you move a bit darker. So you move a bit more towards minor scales, not fully necessarily, because third position works really well for that, we'll get onto that, but just in the middle somewhere, the kind of uh, blue notes. So let's look at the minor pentatonic scale. So this immediately sounds darker than the major notes we were playing. So we've got two draw, three draw half step bend, four blow, four draw, five draw, six blow. So just like the major pentatonic, this is a good building block for minor melodies. It's not the full minor scale, but it's like our major pentatonic, it's kind of a reduced version of the minor scale. And if we add one note to this, we get the blues scale, and this is where second position just absolutely flies. So I've added in a four draw bend. So three draw, sorry, two draw, three draw half step bend, four blow, four draw bend, four draw, five draw, six blow. And this blues scale is a great building block for blues melodies. So you'll hear those notes used all the time in blues. And second position is kind of the go-to position for blues. For that reason, because these, these notes sound great, they sound really bluesy, they sound really expressive, in second position. So if second position is about that tension between major and minor, third position really comes into its own with full on minor tunes. So let's start with our minor pentatonic scale. And we're gonna start on the one draw. That's our kind of home base for third position. So that's a D note on the C harmonica. So this is the minor pentatonic scale. So we've got one draw, two draw full step bend, two draw, three draw full step bend, four blow, four draw. And if we fill in the gaps, we can get the full minor scale. This is the first time I'm giving you the full natural minor scale, because we didn't do it in second position. But it works really nicely in third. So we've added in our uh, two below, and we've added in the three draw half step bend. So we've got one draw, two below, two draw full step bend, two draw, three draw full step bend, three draw half step bend, four blow, four draw. So that's our full minor scale, really good way of working your way around third position and starting to get comfortable with the scales that work in that position. Now it turns out that third position is actually quite versatile. So the blues scale works really nicely in third position as well. There are some difficult bends in there, but if you're getting used to those bends, then it can be really nice and expressive. So here's the blues scale. So remember that this is like the minor pentatonic with an extra note added. And our note here is the bottom bend, the tone and half bend on three draw. So we've got one draw, two draw full step bend, two draw, three draw 
full bend, so that's the bottom bend, toned in half, and then three draw, uh, tone bend, and then four blow, four draw. So it works quite nicely for that as well. And if you were to move that further up, works really nicely in the middle octave as well. So third position can also give you the major scale and the major pentatonic scale. It's not used as often for them, but I do want to give you these notes because it's quite interesting where it puts the notes and where it kind of leads you in the kind of melodies that it tempts you to play. So we will quickly look at these just to finish. So the major pentatonic in third sounds like this. So remember the My Girl kind of bass line. So we've got one draw, two blow, two draw half step bend, three draw full step bend, three draw natural and four draw. So that two draw half step bend is quite important. You don't want to go the full way down. And if you don't bend it at all, it's not going to be a bad note as such, but it's not going to be a strong note. It's not going to really kind of uh, stand out in terms of uh, catching your ear. So it's a little bit tricky because of that bend mainly, it's not a comfortable bend, but it does actually work. And we can fill in the, the two missing notes as well to get the full major scale. So that would sound like this. So the two missing notes are the two draw and then the four draw bend. So we've got one draw, two blow, two draw half step bend, two draw, three draw full step bend, three draw, four draw bend, four draw. If you were to play the four blow, again, that's gonna to be too dark, too kind of major, uh, too minor. It would be the flattened seventh, it would sound too bluesy. So it's a kind of tricky one to get fluid with. <laughs> But it sounds quite nice and it sort of sounds quite jazzy to play in third position uh, with that major scale. So it can be done. So that's a quick run through some scales in first, second and third position. I know that I've flown through these, but don't worry, there's a free summary in the description below. You can follow the link and I've uh, typed out all the different scales so you can print those off and use them to help you. But remember through all of this that the position doesn't have to determine the scales that you play. So you can go beyond these scales and work things out uh, that will make you even more expressive and more interesting on the instrument. So I wish you the best of luck with that. Do give me your comments and your questions, your queries in the comments beneath this video. I try and answer as many of them as possible. And if you want to learn more about positions, check out my step-by-step -step premium course. If you've enjoyed this video, please click like. I'd really appreciate that. And subscribe to my channel to get free harmonica lessons every single week. I'll see you for another lesson very soon. Until then, enjoy your practice. Cheers.